So what we have today is a spring conversion. We have a garage door with what they call extension springs. You'll see the springs on the side of the tracks there. One there and one there. And those are not very desirable springs to use on your garage door. We're going to change this to a torsion system. You'll see how that spring works there. As the door closes, it kind of stretches like that. Has a pulley over here. So to get started on this spring conversion, first thing we have to take off all the old parts. And you don't want to work on this spring with the door closed. Because you'll see with the door closed, that spring is fully loaded. That looks dangerous. So you don't want to fool around with that with the door closed. When we open the door, we'll get the tension off the spring. And so you have to set the door up so it's not going to come down. You have to uh, lock it up in the open position so it doesn't fall down on you when you take those springs off. Right, so let's open the door up. Now you'll see the spring here. There's no tension on it. See, it's all released. So that you can work with now. So here's the main parts we're going to need for this job. Uh, to do a spring conversion from an extension spring to a torsion system. So we have a shaft we're going to need. You have a spring bracket. You have your spring here. And you have to have the correct spring. You can't just use any spring on any door. So you have to uh, determine the weight of the door, the height and the width, and then get a calculation of which spring you're going to use. In this job we're using a 218 gauge 26.25 inch spring. It doesn't matter if it's right hand or left hand. You're also going to need a set of cables. If the old cables on the door are no good, it's best to just get a new set of cables. Then we need the pulley drums for the cables. And we need the bearing plates. They go on the side. And we also need a spring bearing. And that's it. You got the spring bracket there. You want to have a warning tag on your spring bracket. There we go, there's the spring set up on the shaft. There's the spring bracket, there's a, a bearing in there. And the uh, drums. And the drums have left and right. You'll see there's a L on there somewhere. There's an L on there. And there's an L on there. Make sure you put left on L. And you want to make sure your spring is going the right way too. See this? You want this pointing up. If that end of that spring was pointing down, like it is on this side, then you would have your spring on wrong. So you want it to be on correctly. Everything has a left and a right. So there's that. No spring there. And the mount of the track. And I'm going to put my new cables on also. So now I'm going to get started taking the old springs off. You'll see I have a vice grip holding the door right here. Right below a roller. And you want to have a round headed vice grip if you're going to do this. I also have my ladder in front of the door in case the door falls. You want it to be secure so it doesn't come down while you're taking the springs off. So I'm going to take all these brackets off here, up on the spring. All that stuff's coming off. So I got this side off. There's the spring. And I got the new cable on. That's that. And this side, I'll show you what I did. I just undid these connections here. And then the spring came out right there. So you get that one. Oops. You can see the spring was hooked there. I just took it off. And then you got the cable. I'm going to take the cable off. Take this off. And I'll get that off. And I'll get the cable on this side. And I'll be right back. So there's the old stuff. The old extension springs. And still got the door open. 
And I got all that stuff off there in the front, in the front. And then uh, the cable, the new cables, I got them hanging on the side of the track here. So now the only thing is you have to muscle this door down. You got no springs or anything on the door. So the full weight of the door is going to come down when you try to close it. So you just have to be careful about that. If you need two people, it's a good idea to use two people to close the door just for safety. But it's a small door, so I think I can handle it. And then we're going to get uh, started on putting the torsion spring up. Now you'll see I have the bearing plates in. There's one there. Right there's a bearing plate. And then all the way over there I got the other one on. And it's ready for the shaft and spring to go up there now. So now you'll see I got the spring up there. Okay. So be sure you got the drum left here. There's an L on this drum here. Make sure it's L, okay? And make sure the other one is R for right. And the spring, here's what I was talking about earlier, the spring, the end of the spring. This piece here is pointing up, and that's where we are. The door is there, and the end of the spring coil is pointing up towards the ceiling. If this spring was pointing down towards the floor, then you got it backwards. You gotta flip it around, because you can't wind it up. These springs are left and right. Here's the tools we need to uh, wind up the spring and set up the torsion system. We have the wind-up bars here, we need a vice grip, and we need a socket for the set screws. Okay, and the set screws are square bolts. So I use a star socket, you'll see there, and that is a 3-8 star socket. And you can also use a 7 16 open end, but it's better to use the right tool. There you go. So first thing we're going to do is tighten the left side drum to the shaft. Make sure the shaft is sticking out of the bearing here at least a couple inches on both sides. Okay, now this is loose here. So this one I'm going to tighten to the shaft. Tighten these bolts down to the shaft. And then we're going to set the cable on there. So I have to put the camera down to tighten those bolts. Now I have the left side drum, cable drum, tied to the shaft. See, when I spin the shaft, the whole thing is tight on there. I just tighten these bolts down. You don't want to go too much because you're going to bend the shaft up, but just nice and firm. Now the cable is going to fit around the little link right there. It's a little hole. It fits around, then you wrap this around. Make sure the cable is clear going all the way down to the bottom fixture so that it's not kinked or caught in the rest. You see, this goes there, and then you wrap this around, like this. So once again, I have to put the camera down. It's hard to do this with one hand. So, you wrap that there. around. Now the vice grip is set to the shaft, so you're gonna tighten this down. I gotta straighten this cable again. Man, I need a cameraman. And then, that. So then once I do that, I'm going to tighten this on. I'm going to put this camera down for a second. Since we got the left side set, so always do the left side first. And then now this one is loose. So I could take the end of the cable, hook it to the end here again. The little notch it goes in. And I can spin this manually by hand. Once I snug that up by hand, then again make sure the cable is going up and down straight, not getting caught anything. Now once I snug this, I'm going to tighten these bolts. And you want to tighten this bolt first, the one closest to you. Because as you tighten this bolt, it snugs the cable up. And uh, I don't know why, but that just does that for some reason. Then after you tighten this bolt, then you can tighten the back one up. So I'm going to put the camera down again to do that. Alright, so now I'm ready to wind the spring up. Main thing, make sure the cables are going down and up the side and not getting caught on anything. Okay. They're snug. They're both evenly snug. Vice grip is on there. So the spring here, like I said, you got to be sure you got the right spring. 
otherwise the door is not going to work right. So this is a seven foot tall door. So first thing I'm going to do is draw a line on the spring. You don't have to do this, you can just count if you want to, but if you draw a line on the spring it keeps track of what you're doing. Take a piece of chalk, probably start from here because that's where the wind-up bar goes and make a line and as we wind up the spring that line will make more lines and that's how we calculate how much wind to put on the spring. So I'm going to start winding this thing and you'll see. And if you don't put a line on there you just have to count it. Count how many, how many turns you put on the spring. So now I put my wind up bar here. This is a quarter turn here. That's a half a turn. If I go all the way up and go two, that's a half a turn. So you want to do 30 quarter turns or we have the line so we could just use our line for adjustments. So we're just going to keep winding. And I wind up this line. It's turning and we need more lines for us. So be careful when you wind this because you're putting tension on it. And there's pressure so you have to be careful not to get injured. Make sure your wind-up bar is in the hole all the way so it doesn't slip out. Now it's one, two, three, four. And this door is seven feet tall, so we want seven lines. Plus we're going to add a half after we have seven lines. Half a turn. So one, two, three, four. Five. Five. And a half. And you start getting up there on the winds, the spring gets tighter, so you might just start one quarter turns instead of half turns. So we got, we'll start here, don't count this first one, count your one, two, three, four, five, six. We're almost there, and that's seven, and we're going to put another half turn on. So that's one, and two, and let's see how it looks. Next. Hit the spring a little. It's brand new and it's just wound it up to kink, hit the kinks out and kind of stretch it a little. Kind of hit that part. And then you can tighten her up. Lift my ratchet down there, but then you tighten the bolts up. So tighten this to the shaft. Make sure you got it on there good. You got two bolts, so be sure you do both of them. After you do that, now you can take the vice grip off. See, the vice grip was holding the cables for us while we're winding it. So now the spring is holding the cables. The spring is on. Now you can put your second bar in here to get this bar out. You just push up a little and it comes right out. And that's that. And now. I'm going to try to open the door, see how it feels. So now to make sure you have the right spring, you look at the door and you see it's halfway up. It's not being held up by the motor because it's not even hooked up right now. And that's how you know you have a good spring. The door is very controllable. It goes wherever I want. It stays right in the middle. That's a perfectly balanced door.